DJ, DJ Mike, Mike, C. Mike C on the track. Cause there be natural lady tech you. I keep my game tapped. Yo, yeah, I'm so nappy and mo bit. Cause there be natural infamous. I ain't looking techy, cause I keep my game tech. I'm so pretty, I'm so fat, boo, I'm so nappy, it's like a little taboo, I'm so filthy, got the tattoos, fucking these bitches like I own rap, boo, on my business, with my platoon, give me minutes like I'm a cop, boo, y'all just cheers, be on that cartoon. Hey guys, and welcome back to Afros and Baby Hairs, and thank you for joining us for another, another spend the day with Afros and Baby Hairs, this will be day number 19. And today I am going to be doing some organizing, some prep, and some cooking. So yeah, guys, if y'all want to join me for this spend the day with our pros and baby hairs, then please stay tuned. So y'all, right here I am getting prepared to do a henna and indigo treatment. I am pulling out all of the necessary product that I need and showing you guys exactly what henna and indigo that I'm using and I'm going to be showing you the process so we're going to start off by making some coffee and with this coffee I just make a pot of coffee as normal and that will be the um, liquid that I use to mix my henna so we'll just wait for that to finish and then we're going to go ahead and pour in that henna mixture and you can eyeball um, the amount that you're going to need. Right now I'm just doing my root so I don't really need that much but you want to add a little bit at a time until you get like a cake batter consistency. So you just keep adding until it's at your desired consistency. You don't want it too liquidy and you don't want it too clumpy because either way will make the application process a little more difficult. So you just want it at that cake batter or pudding consistency and it will go on smoothly. So once you're done adding all of your coffee i like to add a little bit of water to it so that it doesn't dry out at all during the um releasing process so this is going to take about three hours that you will have to let your um henna sit and release and at that three hour mark you will need to go ahead and apply it to freshly washed hair um it's up to you whether you wash your hair or not. I don't always shampoo my hair before a henna treatment, but for the best results, it's best to go ahead and shampoo your hair. Now, <clears throat> right here, it has sat for about three hours and the actual henna has released. So I'm just adding an egg for a little bit of cholesterol to add to my hair. To make it stronger and healthier so i'm just adding that egg in and mixing it really really well this is also going to give you that desired cake batter consistency so yeah once i finish mixing this really really well i'm gonna go ahead and apply it to my hair now on the next clip i've already applied it and this is what it's looking like you can see that it's giving off a bit of an orange color so that is what we want we want it to go ahead and turn our hair that orange color that way the henna will go ahead and um what's the word i'm looking for it'll go ahead and marry to the henna once we put that on so i'm gonna let this sit for about um three hours i've been told that you can actually sit under a hair dryer or hooded dryer for about an hour and a half to cut down your time but in this case i um i was under just you know this this shower cap in my bonnet for about three hours i didn't do the um hooded dryer method but you can so i've heard so yeah we're gonna let this sit on for about three hours and then i'm going to wash all of this out and then proceed to make my indigo so this is how i will be for the next three hours um just letting this um process in my hair 
um yeah i'm just fixing my ears so i can hear and so i don't be uncomfortable or whatever but yeah that's what i'm doing right here so yeah whenever i get this together we can move on to the next clip <laughs> so right here i'm showing you that i've already mixed the indigo basically with the indigo you just add boiling water to it and let it sit for about 20 minutes and then once it has released and turned to that bluish color you can go ahead and apply it to your hair so right here as you can see i have the indigo on the roots where i had the henna and that will help to darken up your roots a bit and any new growth because um some people do the henna and indigo treatment for more than just to color the grays it's just an overall process that is very beneficial for hair growth and strength so anyway i'm going to let this sit for another three hours so that it can go ahead and process um it's the same exact routine once i'm done i'm definitely going to wash it out and condition my hair and then deep condition now on this particular clip i just washed it out with the shampoo and conditioned my hair and i'm going to go ahead and do a deep condition i'm just showing you how it looks before i add the deep conditioner and that was a um, microfiber towel so my hair is basically dry so i'm gonna have to re-moisturize it before i can add the deep conditioner and i'm gonna let the deep conditioner sit on it for about 30 minutes because my hair is really really dry after those treatments and so we want to add all of the moisture back in so i'm gonna do this deep condition under my heat cap for 30 minutes you know just to bring the hair back to life but it's feeling strong it's feeling healthy and most of all i don't see any gray hair so yeah <laughs> here while i am allowing the product to sit in my hair i think at this point um i am at the deep condition i think i've already deep conditioned and i'm just putting away all of my product that i ordered so on this scene or these clips i'm just putting away all of my re-up stash for all of our hygienic needs um, i'm still waiting on a few items but this is what I have for now and I need to get this stuff out of the way and stacked up. So that's what I'm going to be doing on these clips as well as putting away my laundry um, that I just um, washed and folded and some things have to be hung up. So you'll see me doing that as well. Just, you know, regular maintenance, regular household things. So yeah.
done my hair we have done all of the clothes we have put up all of the product now i'm about to prepare a meal i'm going to do like a veggie bake some um actual tofu chicken and i'm going to add some shrimp in the veggie bake so y'all can see me prep all of that the girl has had a long night that whole process with my hair it took forever i ended up falling asleep um at one point and i had to get up and finish my hair i ended up um you know moisturizing my hair and twisting it up so that i can um wear this style that i'm wearing now which is a twist out so yeah anyway so i'm just going to be getting all of my vegetables and everything together for this veggie bake getting my shrimp together and also showing you guys how i make my tofu chicken um i do want to say that if you do plan on making some tofu fried chicken then definitely get the firm or medium firm tofu make sure you freeze it first so that your texture can be the consistency that you need it to be in order to fry it but you need to freeze it first and then unthaw it and then you can proceed to using it as a chicken substitute so yeah, I just wanted to put that disclaimer out there. But anyway, so far on this veggie bake, I do have some potatoes and I'm putting in some carrots. I do have some broccoli that I'm going to add and all of my um, onions, bell peppers. Um, I think that's it. I just added onions and bell peppers, the red, the orange, and the green. So yeah, and then... I'm gonna add some seasoning and then pop it in the oven. You can add some olive oil and a little bit of butter. Um, yeah, and whatever seasonings that you enjoy using or whatever you think makes your vegetables pop. So I'm just mixing everything together. Right here, I'm adding those bell peppers and everything. And in a moment, I will be adding those onions. So. For the most part, all of this is basically self-explanatory, so I'm just going to let you guys watch, and I'm going to be quiet for now.
vegetables in this pot and I'm I put them usually in the oven for about 45 minutes on 350 or 400 degrees I mean you have to test your vegetables to know when they're done so you just cook them until they're done like your potatoes are soft enough and your carrots are soft enough now right here I am making my marinade for my tofu chicken people ask me about this as well you have to bake your tofu taste as much as possible to what you're trying to make it taste like so in this case we want it to taste mainly like chicken so I'm using chicken seasoning but I always start off with a little bit of vinegar to get rid of that tofu taste you know tofu really doesn't have a taste but it has a taste so you want to get rid of that tofu taste and then i add my amino acids to try to balance out that vinegar taste so you just want to use a little bit of both to you know cancel each other out and then you can begin adding like your chicken base and your seasonings so that is how I start off my marinade and I'm showing you the chicken seasonings that I'm using as well as my garlic powder, my um, Badia Complete as well as the Sazon or Sazon, however you pronounce it. These are just some of the um, seasonings that I'm using to infuse into my tofu. So once you make up this particular marinade, you want to at least let your tofu soak or marinate for about 15 minutes to overnight it just depends in this case it's only going to be about 15 minutes um, because this is our meal for today so yeah i need this to marinate really quickly and really tofu doesn't take that long to take on the flavor that you're trying to infuse it with so that's why i say about 15 minutes you should be straight the main thing is to remember to freeze your tofu first and then I thaw it before using it. The best way to do this is once you buy it from the supermarket, just go ahead and stick it in your freezer. Okay, that keeps it simple. And once you're ready to use it, make sure you defrost it or unthaw it before use. And then at this point, you'll be ready to season it to your liking. <laughs> now, with this particular technique, in this case i'm making mine taste like chicken if i wanted it to taste like beef i would do the same process but with more beef flavoring um or beef seasonings and that's how you will get it to taste more like what you're trying to make it taste like whatever taste you're going for so yeah that's how you do that so right here, I, am, I have broken up my tofu and I'm going to go ahead and pour this marinade on top and allow this to soak and marinate for about 15 minutes. You can put this in the refrigerator or you can leave it on your countertop. Just cover it up well and let this soak. Make sure that your marinade is covering the top of your tofu and so here we are ready to begin the frying process i have my station set up and yeah this is how i did that this actual vlog i appreciate you guys stopping by and spending the day with us um i look forward to seeing you guys on the next one peace and love and as always be blissful dj, DJ Mike, Mike C. C on the track, on the track. track.
Cause they're you natural Lady And they ain't looking tacky Black. I keep my game tacky Yo, yeah I'm so nappy And my bitch Cause they're be natural the And they ain't looking tacky Cause I keep my game tacky I'm so pretty I'm so fat boo I'm so nappy It's like a taboo I'm so filthy Got the tattoo Fucking these bitches Like I own rap boo On my business With my platoon Give me these minutes Like I'm a top boo Y'all just cheer me On that cartoon And I'm sitting on top With these bubbles I'm so nappy I'm so nappy I see dudes that wanna get at me I'm so cultured and I'm happy Just as quick as wanna come back me Cause I'm comfortable in my skin End of the day you lose I win I'm so comfortable in my ends Don't care if I make or lose a few friends And I look like a trillion bucks Lady be one a lotto Cause in the Lord I trust And beauty is the motto Naturally dick in the butt I'm Billy Blanks on the top oh, It's just a little rough Just pretend I'm from a 